Now that we have a picture in our library, I want to show you some basic editing tools that you can use for your video. First, I'm going to add this picture of the pizza we just downloaded down into video one right in the beginning. That's adding it to the actual video. Now that I have that in there, I want you to note that it lasts five seconds by default. All pictures will last five seconds, but you can change that very simply by clicking on the media down in the in the video uh, track. And then once it's yellow, you can see it's yellow, it's selected. If you go to the edge, you'll see two arrows. You can click and drag to make that last longer. That would be 47 seconds or shorter. So that'd be about three seconds. Now, um, right now that's, that's representing three seconds, that little sliver right there. And it's kind of hard to edit that the way it is. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to zoom in on my window. So if this happens to you where things are kind of smushed in, or maybe they're too uh, spread out, you can change that down here with this uh, magnifying glass uh, slider. So I'm going to zoom in a bit. I am not changing the actual picture. This is still three seconds long, um, but now three seconds is representing a little fatter now. So it allows for a little bit more accurate editing and stuff like that. So now I'm going to actually edit the picture and I want to show you things you can do. I'm going to double click on the picture. And when I do that, it goes into editing mode for the picture. And we have different menus here up on top that we can, I'm going to go through with you. The first one is the transforming. It's a basic one where you're uh, transforming the way the picture actually looks. So some things you can do is you can rotate the picture. I can make it upside down or sideways. You can flip the picture so it's facing the other way or flip it uh, vertically so it's facing down. These two are really nice. Um, this, then this picture will show it. If you look at the picture I have right now, the dimensions of the picture are pretty square and are kind of close to a square, but it's not exactly the dimensions of the, um, of the screen. And because of that, it's showing some black on this side. You can see them here and here. So um, what these two are, they're kind of shortcuts to fill, fill the screen. This one right here will zoom in on the picture until the entire screen is full so you don't have any black on the sides. Now that's great, but sometimes it'll cut off the top and bottom or if you have a kind of a long or a sideways picture that's too fat, it'll cut off the, the edges. Um, and sometimes that's not what you want. So this one right here will zoom in as much as it can before it hits um, the top and bottom or left and right, depending on which one it hits first. So this one will zoom in as much as it can. And this is if you had a small um, picture, it will zoom in without cutting anything off. So you still might get some black on the edges, um, but um, it won't cut anything off here. Now those two are great and they're good for uh, shortcuts, but it, sometimes you want a picture, you want to shrink it down or have a custom size for the picture. And that's what this slider is. It's the scale. So you can see I can zoom in on the picture or I can zoom out on the picture and make it smaller. Whatever you want to do is, is however you want it is fine. Um, but I do want to show you what's really cool is let's say I, I don't want the picture in the middle. I can come over here to the screen, click on the picture and drag it and make the picture appear maybe up on the top instead of uh, right in the middle which is really cool if you're doing like a collage of pictures. So you can have multiple pictures on the screen and we'll talk about that, how you do that in another video. Um, what you can also do, uh, if you know the actual position, you can see the X and Y coordinates. You can put those in and it'll put, place it exactly where you want it. And they just added this effect um, pretty recently, this blurred background. So you see uh, if you have black, a black, maybe you don't want to zoom in because it might mess it up, but you can kind of fill the black by taking the picture, it takes the picture, basically blurs it, and that becomes the background to kind of fill in um, the black, but you can still focus on the screen. So it's kind of a nice effect there. So those are some things you can do with, with uh, just transforming the picture. The next menu over for editing is the animation one. This is really cool. It doesn't do a lot of crazy animation. All it really does is you tell it where to start and where to end, and it will move from start to end in the time frame that it has. For example, right now I have it starting kind of small in the corner here. 
and see I have start and it's giving me I'm starting it small and that's position um, I'm gonna have it end I'm gonna click end I'm gonna have it end in the middle and much bigger something like that so if you can imagine it's gonna start small in the corner bottom left and as the picture, as the three seconds goes on, it's going to grow and come to the middle. Let me show you what that looks like. I'm going to hit done edit editing for now. And I'm going to take the blue player, put it in the beginning and hit play. And you can see exactly what that looks like. So kind of a cool effect. You can have things zoom in. You can have things zoom out. You can have things going across the screen, which is kind of cool. Um, but that's the uh, the animation. The next menu over is the color, and you can mess with uh, the shading, um, the contrast, all kinds of stuff, saturation. The hue is kind of interesting. You can make things turn green or super red, so you can mess with that if you want. And then this one is actually pretty cool too because it will take a color and transform it so that it's um, invisible. And so um, it's great for like green screen type stuff, or if you have like a white background and you don't, it looks kind of odd and you want to get rid of the white, it'll cut out the white part, which is kind of cool. Um, this isn't a great picture for that. I'll, I'll try it here. Uh, oh, it's not even working actually for me. Um, let me try it again. Oh, there we go. And then uh, you click on a color and it changes it. See, mine messed up pretty bad because it changed all that color into invisible which I don't want uh, I hope I didn't get rid of that uh, I'm gonna hit trash there we go trash makes it go back to where it was so uh, anyway it's it's great for removing colors if that's what, if especially white, because a lot of pictures that you download will have a white background and you don't want that white in your picture. You just want a, um, like a nice uh, cutout, basically, of something. Uh, anyway, you can mess with that on your own. I'm going to hit done editing. And those are some basic editing tools you can do with pictures.